Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. Today we are looking at ticker symbol INTT, Intest Corp. This is a semiconductor company in the United States. We're gonna do a calculation, see if the stock is worth $7. We're gonna see what institutions and hedge funds are doing. We're also gonna do some advanced charting and we will look at um, Fibonacci patterns. We'll look at supports and resist. Yes. I've done this one before, so I have a base. Um, obviously, it's a messy one, but uh, I'll be able to I'll be able to decipher from here. And uh, yeah, I'm actually pretty excited that I've uh, done this one. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and hit the subscribe button um, and jump on in. And we're gonna go back to uh, our regularly scheduled program. I'll shrink my head for you. Zoom, 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 zoom. All right, $7.12. The stock went from 26 to now seven. Looks like it was a rough month so far. All right, uh, 38, we are with the Bears. MACD, looks like we are hitting fresh, low momentum. Wow, money flow is almost going through the bottom of my computer screen. That is crazy. I don't think I've seen this level of dippage uh relative momentum indicator is obviously going down this is with the bears for now uh okay let's take a peek down here so what we can see 2023 they had 123 million in sales trailing 12 months 2024 we're actually at 122 million i kind of looks like we're hitting a plateau here you can see sales are kind of plateauing eps plateauing Shares outstanding has went up to almost 2 million from 10.38 million shares to 12.17 million shares. So it's kind of annoying when more shares get entered into the pool, but it is what it is. Uh, all right, looking around here, PE18, this is still a little bit overvalued based on this, which is crazy because the stock went from 26 to now 7. Forward PE20. So that's kind of a problem because at this current trajectory, their forward PE should be cheaper than their current PE. So what that means, if it's a good solid company. So what that means is if the company continues with their margins, revenues, sales, EPS, and their momentum going forward, the stock is going to continue to be at a discount. But what we have here, if they go on the same way they are, stock is going to be even more overvalued in the future so this tells us that this stock is slightly overvalued now and in the future it's still slightly overvalued so something needs to change uh we need new fresh sales eps needs to surprise probably a combination of several variables quick ratios over one so if they do close their doors tomorrow for some unforeseen reason they will be able to pay off any debts notes loans you got it. Uh, EPS past five years positive. Sales past five years positive. Shows resiliency. Not going to lie. EPS trailing 12. Sales trailing 12. Negatives. Not good. EPS quarter over quarter. Whoa. Bad. Uh, profit. They're barely profitable, which you can see right here. Gross margins 43%. That is actually really, 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 really good. Um, and shares outstanding, shares float around 12 million, 12.7. Um, what we, what I want to see here is, are they dealing with the next best thing in their pipeline? And I only bring this up because if they have an incredible product rolling out or service rolling out in the future, that's not incorporated. Um, this might be a good time to consider um, scaling into this position if we can foresee that this company is going to have something going for it. So uh, let's pull out my handy dandy calculator here. Uh, I only add the market cap to the calculation and if, it, if it is over 1 billion. In fact, this calculator was built for companies that were less than 1 billion. So this should be pretty good for us. Uh, income is 4,620,000. Sales, 122640000 All right, let's look at the cash and the debt. 
All right, Q1 this year, they did 29 million. Q1 last year, they did 31 million. Ouch. Q1 this year, 33 million. I'm sorry, Q2 this year, 33. Q2 last year, 32. Nice increase there. Uh, but they did spend $3 million more than they did last year to make 1.3. No, it'd be 1.43 million. So they made an extra 1.4 million, but they spent an extra three, well, 2.5, 2.6 something. So kind of a wash there. Actually, you can see right here, gross profit for Q2 last year was 17, no, 15 million. Gross profit right here, 13 million. So not efficient. Uh, This is, no, this is not good. I don't like to see the CEO selling. And then we've got these diddly buys here. These diddly buys, I mean, these guys did good, they're up. But 11,000, 74,000, they're director level. Um, typically, those type of buys are vanity metrics. So if uh, hedge funds, institutions, people like me or you are scanning for insider buys only because we want to look at companies that are insiders are buying, this would show up and it would look potentially positive. However, looking a little deeper, we know they spent 11,000 and 74,000, which could be a lot for them, could be a little. We don't know their situation. Um, but typically, I like to see the CEO buy. All right, looking at the cash, 20 million. That's the not the lowest, but historically pretty low. So cash, 20 mil, 370,000. Debt, baby, debt, 19 million, 170,000. Okay. So total assets, 160 million. Total liability, 61 million. That's fantastic. Assets outweigh liabilities almost three to one, maybe 2.8 to one. So for every one liability, they have 2.81 assets. <clears throat> Around 2.81. I'm just doing rough math in my head. Okay. Uh, I just want to look at their website really quick. Acquired, acquired, acquired. They acquire a new company every five years. It's been a minute. They reorganize, acquired Alphamation. Uh, um, business segments, I mean. I want to see who they use for their um, Wow, okay. So for some homework, if you people are interested in homework, looking at all these different companies and seeing what they have going on, I typically only look at this the company at face value. Um Okay, we'll look at Alphamation. I don't. Um, so basically, some more homework may be required here, and this overview page is the same. So, I mean, they're not making record money. They're making 100 million plus a year. Uh, let's finish our calculation. I just got sidetracked. Let's finish our calculation and see what we get. All right, so share this in 12170000 Potential stock price, $10.56. Analysts have a target price of $10 here. Uh, they just got downgraded to perform. Last market update was 20 bucks. So $10 stock trading at seven bucks. Um, Alphamation, yeah, what does this company do? Sorry, I'm just going off of uh, yeah, whistleblowing. Woo! Don't get whistleblown. Okay, uh, 
I mean, we would have to dive into the 10Q to look at how many millions each company brings in. Um, at this juncture, it's not realistic because we have all the data we need from all the companies and we can kind of see they're hitting a little bit of a plateau here, which means uh, let's give this company a little bit more time to figure their stuff out. Institutions own 60.89%, that is old data. New data is 78%. Wow, look at this record. This is uh, not what I was expecting. Let's see what we got going on. BlackRock sold 67%. Wow. Renaissance Technologies added. That was earlier this year. Vanguard started a position. Pacific Ridge uh, sold 54% Royce and Associates. I mean, I don't know what to gather here other than this is crazy. That's crazy, man. So 78% up from 68. That's an 18% increase. But there is, okay, you also got to consider there's a, this is a very low float stock. So 18% of 12, 11 million is one point, almost 20%. So 10% of that is 1.19 times two is two point, almost 2.4 million shares. So not bad. Uh, let's look here. I see something. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, create drawing set. We're gonna call this eight. 24, well, this 816, what am I doing? Okay, uh, I do see a cup in the handle. Spoiler alert, my head is right in the way. Let's go over here. We have our left side of the cup and the right side of the cup is actually higher than our left side of the cup. So that gives us green check mark. Now this is a potential handle here. This looks like it was a cup and handle within a cup and handle within a cup and handle. Left side of the cup, I mean, kind of disputable. Right side of the cup, pull back, boom. Yeah, so left side of cup, right side of the cup. So this is cup one, cup two, left side, right side, cup three, left side, right side. So I'm going to do a few things here. Um, We're looking at Fibonacci arcs. I want to see how well the stock uh, respects the Fibonacci arcs. If you've been watching my my stuff, it's the cycle low to the cycle low, cycle low to the cycle high. The cycle low would be right here, but I went over here. Let's see uh, if we get a little bit clear. I mean, it's kind of the same. It's kind of the same. I'll be consistent. I'll be cycle low to cycle high. Um, so what I want to establish here is how well do these candles respect these Fibonacci arcs? And we can see uh, breaks through, tests in a ring, almost perfect resistance on our middle ring, falls through, great test on our outer ring, comes out. Tests our outer ring, almost touches our mid ring. Next candle, great resistance on the outer ring, comes back, comes up, acts as great support here, falls through. It's not super clean. We have support here, almost support. This is like the, the kiss, the goodbye kiss right here. So be with that what you will. Is this our, is this candle the low of the cycle? Let's find out. Oh, look at how well these candles. Actually, I don't really think there's much. The only clear. 
I guess we have perfect resistance there. Great resistance there. Great resistance. Perfect support. Almost perfect support. Almost perfect support falls through. Almost good resistance. Great resistance. Perfect resistance. Perfect kiss goodbye here. So we potentially saw the low that we'll see, which got to 628. Okay. So we have that. Um, I'm going to do a couple things here. Apologies, it's going to lag. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, potential low could be down here as well. So what would that look like if our low came down to 520? Let's see. Let's activate this and bring this down to maybe here. Do I like this more? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's not ugly. I think we get there. I'm going to remove this. No. Remove drawing. I think there's a decent chance we come down to $5. Decent chance. This channel, this is a beautiful channel. Perfect supports here. Perfect supports. Falls through. Access perfect supports. Perfect res like resistance. Resistance supports. So this channel goes all the way back to baby, baby, 2009. So yes, I think we get down to potentially five bucks here. All right, so I want to show you guys the yearly MACD because I was very interested to see if this was actually a slow play. Uh, at the moment, um, this stock is definitely going for a breather. We can tell down here that our MACD um, is just chilling. However, looking at the monthly, What we can see here is the MACD is kind of almost ready to curl around, but we don't have our buy signal yet, which is our MACD stochastic right here. If we bought every time our stochastic threw up a sign, we'd probably be trillionaires. So um, anyway, that's what I got for you guys. I actually like this one. I think, I mean, I I would watch this one very closely over the next couple months because um, insiders are buying. Although it's not a lot, it's it's a small amount, but we could we might see the CEO buying. So um yeah i mean just give it uh end of 2024 give it to the end of 2024 or you know what i'm this is what i'm gonna do i i need it to be a text alert though okay so cross is below yo all right, so I'll get an, I'll get a text when this happens. I think that would be a definitely a wonderful buying opportunity if it does get there. If it doesn't get there and I miss the boat, obviously upset. But this is something to check back in for sure. I mean, this company has a history of acquiring companies. They're now making over a hundred million a year. Give it two, three, four, five years. How many more companies do they acquire? They acquire a company about every three, four, five years. So maybe they acquire another company. They keep going. Etc. 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 Comes a billion dollar company. You saw it here first. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far, consider subscribing. Engagement lets YouTube know that um, I'm worth watching or paying attention to a little bit. Take care. See you tomorrow.